Welcome to my mathematics demo. This time I'll be demonstrating the most efficient way of finding prime numbers. You may download primes.xlsx file from the info link below on YouTube. This method is a practical approach to finding primes and can be taught to the whole class as a practical activity. I find this very useful during the teacher training course and therefore have taken time to demonstrate this. Prime numbers up to 100. It is crucial that the lot layout of the worksheet is adhered to as it's most effective in eliminating all numbers that are not primes. Enter values 1 to 6 across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then on the following line below, continue with 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and again 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on. So what I'll try and do is complete this series below quickly. Say there, and again select that, complete the series there. So, if what it's doing in Excel, it's following a linear pattern that we've just started off. quickly let's go this 202 what we have here are numbers from 1 to 102 and arranged in columns 1 to 6 and following a specific pattern again that we've seen. Basically, highlight all what I'm going, going to do. If you were working off a standard piece of paper, you would write it in this format and highlight, circle all the primes and cross out all the non primes. And the quickest way to do this in, in Excel is the method I'm going to demonstrate now. What we know that number one is not a prime, so let's highlight that cell in red. What I'm doing in fact is I'm highlighting the set of the non primes. So I'm making all the prime numbers stand out. Now 2 is a prime, 3 is a prime, 4 is not a prime. So we can highlight that cell uh, in red as well. 5 is a prime and then 6 isn't a prime. What you'll notice um, starting with 2 2 is the only even number that's a prime. So therefore anything below that number 2 in that column, if you notice there that they are all even numbers. 8, 14, 20, 26, 32, 38, up to 98, they're all even numbers. Therefore, as 2 is the only even prime, we highlight all those cells in red. and then move on to 3 what we have here 3 and multiples of 3 underneath we have multiples of 3 in this case 3 is the only prime there and if we look at the column below it we have multiples of 3 uh, 3 times if you go through your 3 times table it's 3 3 is a 9 5 3 is a 15 and so on 7 3 is a 21 again these are all multiples of 3 therefore these are not primes and we're highly highlighting these again in red here 4 and below this column these are all even numbers including 4 if you look at 4, 10, 16, 22, 28, 34 they're all even numbers as we already know 2 is the only even prime 
we highlight this in red so that we know it's not a prime column. Move on to the next column. We have five. That is the that is another prime number. I will leave this column out for the time being and come back to it later. As the the first column we have has all the primes in, and the second uh, the fifth column has all the other primes in. But we still need to el eliminate some of these numbers. Come back to this later. Go on to this final column. Again, all even numbers in this column. Therefore, we highlight this in red. Two being the only even prime. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. They're all even numbers. Okay, let's start. And what we do, that ha that's made the whole problem a lot simpler and more visually effective to find in finding primes. What we know now is that we have primes left in uh, our first column and the fifth column. Two and three are primes, five is a prime. Now what we need to do is eliminate all the multiples of five left in the first column and the fifth column. In the first column multiples of five is 25. So we highlight that in red. Again, what I'm going to do is try and quickly highlight these multiples of 5 first. 25, 55, 85, and on the right, I'm going to do the same with 95, 35, and 65. And color these cells in red. So we have all the multiples of 5 eliminated from both these columns. Now what we have are the remaining multiples of 7, our next uh, prime number after 5. So any multiples of 7 that we have, we eliminate them. And these are, take, taking you through these, is 49, is one of our multiples of 7, and 91 and 77 so we highlight all these again in red and what we have now what we're left with is are all the primes up to 102 2 is a prime, 3 is a prime, 5 is a prime, 7 is a prime 11, 13, 17 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 70, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97, and 101. These are all prime numbers. This method can be extended to find more primes efficiently. All we have to do is basically extend uh, this pattern beyond 102 and it will easily allow you to eliminate all the even numbers first leaving you with columns 1 and 5 which have the primes. And the, the remaining numbers in columns 1 and 5 can also be eliminated uh, by finding all the multiples of 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and 17 up to the nth prime in columns uh, 1 and 5. Okay, um, I'm going to take you on to another tab which is a primes tab here. What I've done here is basically got a prime numbers up to 10 million generated by a software program and these show all the prime numbers up to 10 million and it's, uh, it's I mean it was a pretty efficient program so if you ever need to refer to this to cross reference and check your prime numbers that you found then you can do so hope you enjoyed the demo and um, I'll see you next time okay, bye